I've had a few people ask me how they can track progress toward a goal in Google Data Studio. In some cases, that's a goal of sessions or visits in Google Analytics. It might be a number of goal completions like leads, or it could even be revenue. I figured out how to do that and I wanna share it with you now. So first thing you wanna do is let's add a chart. We're just gonna get a, a scorecard percentage. So right here, we're gonna say um, for this dashboard, let's say we wanna to work toward 3,000 sessions for the month. This is a previous month, but this is just for the sake of argument, right? So we've got one where we're pulling from Google Analytics and the metric is sessions. I'm just gonna copy and paste that, and then we're gonna get toward a goal. So let's say our goal is 3,000 sessions. So I'm gonna change the metric, and then I'm gonna go over here, and inst instead of selecting from the Google Analytics metrics, I'm going to create a new field, and I'm gonna call this um, percent of sessions goal. How about that? And so in here, I should be able to select sessions when I start typing, there it is, so it's pulling it in from there. And then we're gonna divide it by 3,000 because that's our goal. Percent of, we'll call it the 3,000 sessions goal, just so we know what that is clearly. Um, I recommend under type, we go numeric percent. All right, and then let's apply that. All right, great. So now we can see in March, we were 91% of our goal. But what if we want a visualization like that, right? So I'm gonna copy and paste this one and we're gonna change it from a scorecard and we're gonna make it into a different kind of graph. So I can go up to here and say, let's make it a sideways bar graph. And then this gives us a little visualization of how close were we. A number of people have asked me, can we do a thermometer? This is like the closest thing I've found. So um, we don't need the dimension source breakdown. So I might actually get rid of that if I can. So because we don't need a breakdown dimension like this, I'm gonna set this to just month, month of the year, month of the year. Uh, let's try one of these, let's see how that looks. Because for the month of March, I wanna see if we're hitting our March goal. All right, now we've got some visualization on there. Let's, let's just spruce this up a little bit. We're gonna, I'm gonna select the graph, I'm gonna click over to style. Um, I wanna show the data labels so we can see we're at that 91%, 91.1%. Um, a couple of people have asked me, can we, can we change the color by where we're at, like, you know, go to green once we hit 100%. I don't know a way to do that because even in custom here, it's just giving me the option to change the hex color, but there's no conditional formatting that I've found. So please mention in the comments if you do find a way to do this. Um, I, do, I like to show the title down here as well. Um, I think everything else looks good in here. Uh, we might even consider giving this a little border or something just to call it out of, hey, where are we at? All right, so there you have it. I did some more styling and just kind of changed the alignment, but now we can see here's how many sessions we've had for the month. Here's the percent of our 3,000 session goal right here. And then I stretch this out a little bit so we can see how are we doing toward the goal and that'll stretch out till we get to 100%. So this is a way to track in Google Data Studio what kind of progress we're making toward our goals. If you'd like to learn more about analytics, I have a free course all about Google Analytics basics and Google Data Studio. You can click right over on the link and sign up and get instant access. Love to see you over there.